Good day everyone. My name is Mr. Chisum. So today we'll be looking at the front of forearm. We'll be looking at the flexor compartment of the forearm. But before we continue with the flexor compartment of the forearm, let's understand what forearm is. The forearm is defined as the segment of the upper limb that extends from the elbow here down to the wrist. So this segment of the upper limb is referred to as the forearm. And today we'll be discussing the muscles and the neurovascular structures in the front of forearm. So in the front of forearm, we have a total of eight muscles there. And the eight muscles are spread across the three layers of the front of forearm. We have the superficial layer, we have the intermediate layer, we have the deep layer. So the superficial layer have about four muscles. The intermediate layer have one muscle and the deep layer have about three muscles, making it eight muscles. The muscles in the superficial layer is the pronator teres. This is the pronator teres. The flexor capai radialis the primaris longus and the flexor capai ulnaris. So these are the four muscles in the superficial layer of the front of forearm. Coming to the intermediate layer, we have the flexor digitorum superficialis. This is the flexor digitorum superficialis, which has about four tendons. Then coming to the deep layer, we have the flexor pollicis longus, we have the pronator quadratus, and we have the flexor digitorum profundus. So let's start with the muscles in the superficial layer of the front of forearm. Like I told us, we have about four muscles there. And the first muscle here is the Pronator teres. Meanwhile, I forgot to tell us that the muscles in the front of forearm have a common origin. And the common origin is the medial epicondyle. This is the medial epicondyle. The common origin of the muscles in the front of forearm. So, most of the muscles in the front of forearm fix its origin from this part which is the medial epicondyle of the, of the humerus. So coming back to the pronator teres muscle, you can see that the pronator teres muscle has two heads. The first head originates from the medial epicondyle of the humerus. And the second head, deep down here, the second head originates from the chromoid process of the ulna. And together, the two heads join together rather to insert at the mid shaft of the radius. So you can see how the two heads insert at the shaft of the radius. Then, this is the second muscle. This muscle is the flexor capai radialis. So this is it. The flexor capai radialis. You can see it originates from the common tendon, which is the medial epicondyle of the humerus. And it runs down. It runs downward to insert at the base of the second and third metacarpa. So you can see the tendon running down to insert at the base of the second and third metacarpal bone of the hand. So, this muscle helps in flexing and abducting the wrist. It helps to flex and abduct the wrist, and it is innervated by the median nerve. So, the third muscle in the superficial layer of the front or forearm is this muscle here. This is the palmaris longus. You can see from the name. Palmaris longus, you see that it has a long tendon. 
So this is the long tendon. It has a very long tendon and a short belly here. So it originates from the common origin, which is the medial epicondyle of the humerus. And it runs down. It runs down with it crosses the flexor retinaculum here. The flexor retinaculum of the wrist, it crosses it and inserts at the palm, at the palmar aponeurosis of the palm. So this muscle, the palmaris longus, helps to flex the wrist. It helps in flexing the wrist and it is innervated by the median nerve. So the fourth muscle that we have in the spatial layer of the front of forearm is this muscle, the flexor capi ornalis. So this is the flexor capi ornalis muscle. The flexor capi ornalis muscle has two heads. The first head originates from the common origin, which is the media epicondyle of the humerus, while the second head originates from the or the planning process of the owner. So together these two heads run downward to insert at the fifth metacarpal bone. And this muscle is innervated by the ulnar nerve. So it is the only muscle in the superficial layer of the front of forearm that is innervated by the ulnar nerve. Other muscles in the superficial layer which is the which is the pronator teres, the flexor capi radialis, the palmaris longus. The three of them are innervated by the medium nerve, while the flexor capi ornalis is innervated by the ulnar nerve. And this muscle helps in the flexion and abduction of the wrist. It helps in the Flexion and adduction. Flexion and adduction of the wrist. So that is what this muscle do. So um, we've talked about the superficial layer of the front of forearm. So let's see the intermediate layer of the front of forearm. I told us that the intermediate layer has only one muscle, which is the Pleasure digitorum superficialis. So this muscle here is the flexor digitorum superficialis. And this muscle has two origins. The first origin is at the media epicondyle of the humerus. You can see the first origin is there. Then the second origin is at the radial shaft. That is where it has a second attachment at the radial shaft or the shaft of the radius. So it has two heads in other ways. The first head originates at the media epicondyle of the humerus. The second head originates at the shaft of the radius. Then as the muzzle approaches this study it divides into four tendons. It divides into four tendons. The first tendon, the second tendon, the third tendon, and the fourth tendon. The fourth tendon pass through the carpal tunnel here and they insert at the, the medial four digits. They insert at the medial four digits. One, two, three, four. They insert there. So this muscle help in the flexing the metacarpophalangeal joint and also the proximal interphalangeal joints. They are innervated by the median nerve. This muscle are innervated by the median nerve. So this is this is all about the muscles in the intermediate layer. So let's see the deep layer of the 
front of forearm. So the muscles in the deep layer of the front of forearm, I told us that we have the pronator quadratus, which is the most deepest. We have the flexor pollicis longus, which is at the lateral side. And we have the flexor uh, digitorum profundus, which is at the medial side. So let's first of all see the flexor pollicis longus. So this muscle here, you can see how I raised, I raised the superficial and intermediate muscle of the forearm for us to be able to see the flexor pollicis longus. So this muscle here is the flexor pollicis longus. So this is it. So the flexor pollicis longus originates from the anterior surface of the radius and it attaches at the base of the distal phalanx of the thumb. So from the anterior surface of the radius to the base of the distal phalanx of the thumb, you can see how it moves, the tendon move down to the base of the distal phalanx of the, of the thumb. So this is where this muscle inserts. Then this muscle helps to flex the interphalangeal joints and also the metacarpophalangeal joints. Then this muscle is innervated by the median nerve. So let's see the, the next muscle, which is the flexor digitorum profundus. So if you, if you separate or raise the, the muscles in the superficial and the intermediate layer of the front of forearm, you see this muscle here. This muscle is the flexor digitorum profundus. It lies medially. It lies medially, while the other one, the flexor pollicis longus, lies laterally. So this muscle here originates from the ulnar bone. It originates from the ulnar bone, and as it approaches downward, it splits into four tendons. So these are the four tendons. It splits into four tendon, which is this. And the four tendon, which is one, two, three, and the four. The four of them insert at the medial four digits. The four of them insert at the medial four digits. And what they do there is that they help in the flexion of the distal interphalangeal joints and also help in the flexion of the metacarpophalangeal joints. The medial half of this, which is this two, this two is innervated by the ulnar nerve, while the lateral half of this is, this lateral half is innervated by the median nerve. So, this is it for the flexor digitorum profundus. So, let's see the next muscle in the deep layer, which is the pronator quadratus muscle. So, in between the flexor digitorum profundus, which is located medially, and the flexor pollicis longus, which is located laterally, you see this quadrangular muscle here. This quadrangular muscle here is known as the pronator quadratus. So it has a quadrangular shape, like you can see, or a spear shape. And that's where the name came from. This muscle originates from the anterior surface of the ulna, or the anterior surface of the distal part of the ulna, and it inserts at the anterior surface of the distal part of the radius. So you can see the muscle here. This muscle from the name pronator quadratus helps to pronate the forearm and it is innervated by the median nerve. So these are the eight muscles in the front of forearm, which is the superficial muscles, the intermediate muscles, and the deep 
muscles. So let me do a recap of what I've said so far. I said that the forearm is the segment of the upper limb that starts from the elbow down to the wrist. And I told us that the muscles of the forearm, front of forearm rather, is about eight in number and they are divided into the four superficial muscle, the one intermediate muscle, and the three deep muscles, making it eight in number. So the four superficial muscle, starting from lateral to media, is the first one here, which is the pronator teres muscle. The first one here, which is the pronator teres muscle. And we have the second one here, which is the flexor capi radialis muscle. This is it. And we have the third one, which have a long tendon and a short berry or tiny berry, which is the palmaris longus. Then we have the flexor capi ulnaris muscle. Then these four are the superficial muscles of the front of forearm. Then coming to the intermediate muscles of the front of forearm, we have this muscle here, this muscle here, which is the flexor digitorum superficialis, which has four tendons, or which run downward and divide into four tendons. One, two, three, four. Then this is the muscle of the intermediate layer. Then coming to the deep layer, we have the one at the media part, which is the flexor digitorum profundus. And it lies directly under the flexor digitorum superficialis. So this is the flexor digitorum profundus, which lies medially. And it also divides into four tendons when it approaches downward or this study. One, two, three, and the four. These are the four tendons. Then coming to the other muscle at the lateral part, we have the flexor pollicis longus. This is the flexor pollicis longus by the lateral side. Then, in between the two of them, we have the quadrangular or the square shaped muscle, which is the pronator quadratus muscle. Then, it will see the eight muscles of the front of forearm. Let's um, look at the nerves that innervate the forearm we have the front of forearm we have the median nerve and we have the ulnar nerve so this nerve here is the ulnar nerve the ulnar nerve we start from the brachial plexus run through the arm and pass through the ulnar groove it passes through the ulnar groove under the media epicondyle and enter the forearm to innervate the, the flexor capi ulnaris and also the medial half of the flexor digitorum profundus. Then the second nerve here is the median nerve. This nerve is the median nerve. And the median nerve innervates the rest of the muscles in the front of forearm. Then, this is all we have in the front of forearm. So, we've come to the end of this teaching. I'll plead with you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Learn with Chisum Great. Like this video, share this video and comment on this video. Thank you very much.